yeah. Yes, yeah, cell phones were super expensive then. And then like making calls, if mm-hmm. you were to call somebody before seven, it's like, it wasn't free. So you had to wait to, you had the free minutes to call people. I remember mm-hmm. it was so strange. Oh yeah. Yeah, now you just like, you know, call free everywhere. Well, most mm-hmm. of the time. And my mom was like, you can't call out of state. Don't call your dad in Texas. Don't call anybody. If you have to call people, you have to call them after eight or seven. Mm-hmm. It was just crazy. Oh, so you have like like different like charges for the states as well. Mm -hmm. If you call it like, say if I was in California and then somebody was in like the next state over like um, Nevada or Arizona or something. And if you Mm -hmm. call them, it will charge you money. It was stupid. Mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah. Okay. What about the the pre-dating app stage? When we already, well, we already had Google. We had like Facebook, I think at that time. And, you know, but we didn't have like dating, dating app per se, where you go and you like swipe or whatever. But you know what? I kind of think this goes back to like um, the first season, how we talked about that, like the pre-dating, pre, uh, like the, the, like the pre-dates of, of all this, like of the internet, of the, you know, all that. Yeah, yeah, but like, that's what I told you. Like, I want it to be based on like your own experience, my own experience. Cause we kind of cover the history, but like, do you remember it precisely? Like, what is like the fun experience of you? Like, you know, dating pre dating app. Dating. I I don't really remember it that good. You know, that's crazy. I don't remember it that good because it's more like you I was like always in school, you know? Yeah, so no, you no, have, no, I don't so. know. You guys have a prom. I watch you, you know, American movies back in the day when I was a teenager. You guys have a prom and all that kind of crap. So, how do you invite the girl? You have no dating app, yeah. So, I'm weird. So, I didn't go to really none of that stuff for school, like, yeah, you, none of the dances. Or anything. My American dream, though. like, I wanted to. I know. It does. So the movies are the movies are just dreams. I wanted to do all that, but I was like, nah, I'm I'm cool. Like I didn't want. It was like stupid for me, so I didn't really do it all. Why stupid? Um, I just didn't see the point of it. You know, I really didn't see the point of it. Like, hmm. Do you regret that you didn't go the now? And... No, no, I'm I'm happy. Really? Because I did I did do I did do um like prom, but I I showed up the last 15 minutes of it and I was like this is stupid and I left there was no point you didn't go to the prom you just you know we're passing oh, yeah, by or whatever yeah I passed by I was like this is dumb why, why, why I'm never gonna see any of these people again in high school so I'm good okay what about the the stage where um we just start you know adding friends on Facebook and obviously like for me personally there are so many creeps that are like knocking on my you know request door to you know be my friend and I was like the fuck who you are I don't know you and you know like they're trying to send messages like which happens till this day but obviously you know like I'm not big on Facebook and it just meh. I just don't even check the request but like it was the kind of case back in the day well for that for that like um I know I didn't really understand it at the time so it was just like you know, anybody can be your friend at, on Facebook at, at one point in time. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Um, but like, we, we, in my job, it was like, well, you know, you should, you should um, like make your stuff private and stuff because some people are out there trying to steal your information and stuff. So I really wasn't mm-hmm. on Facebook like for, right. for that. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, I was like, actually a good like, no. thing because yeah, no one has, no one taught us that, you know, like that's actually dangerous because well, like mm-hmm. no one knew it could be dangerous, you know? So, mm-hmm. um, okay. What about I, I do have a story. Like I got threatened on Facebook. It was weird. Like I didn't understand it at first. And I was like, Oh, you know, send us money. I will come kill you. And I was like, Oh shit. So I sent like $200 to this place in the Philippines. And then I thought about it. I'm like, how, I felt dumb, you know? Yeah. I got, I got, I got. I hope, you know, I hope that 20 went to, you know, uh, a good deed. (laughs) I don't know, like a bottle of wine, whatever. Hopefully, you know, fed a family in the Philippines. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say 20 bucks is like a big thing. Like No, it was 200, 200, 200. You're an idiot. (laughs) 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not. Absolutely. I'm not judging. I am, but I'm not. Um, let's now, you know, everyone can relate to this now. Let's go into pre-COVID times. Do you remember how it was a year ago when we didn't know about the la 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 all the bullshit that people been talking for a year? It's boring. Do you remember how we used to date pre-COVID? I think I it was more interaction, you know. It was just more interaction. Yeah, obviously. Because like be before COVID, everybody was just out, you know. It was just more interaction with people, so you oh. had more opportunities to do more things. Sweet memories. Like even now, like I'm watching, you know, movies and everything, and you know, if they're not wearing masks, it's like too crowded. Was like, <gasps> it's just like a reflex yeah. now, and it's it's horrifying. Yeah you know because covid changed your view of like group gathering of people you see a lot of people you just like oh, you start seeing people cough you're like oh you know you see yeah. people sneeze you want to fight them well so no, I, I just you know i just keep my distance i'm you know i'm cool you just sneak in that corner and i'm gonna go like where the wind goes um yeah but like Let's go like a little bit back in time, but not as far as, you know, pre-internet dating, but um, pre, uh, pre-second pre lockdown. <laughs> I'm just like hooked up with pre-word. Um, yeah, so the first lockdown, which is soon to be anniversary, because I went on lockdown on 9th of March and yeah, yeah it's and super we went, like, near. March. And, you know. Yeah, um, same right here. How was it like during that first pandemic because i remember i was like you know uh, in quite part of anxiety because you know all the information everything you hear and read about from sunlight to you know midnight about COVID, and that was too much and i personally was um on like celibacy at that time so i just didn't have any tinder i well I had those apps because I had to write reviews, but I didn't interact with anyone whatsoever on the app precisely for, you know, those things. But the statistically wise, damn, those apps like made some money because like the, it grew so much. Like, yeah, you, it started the, like you seeing like the ads for YouTube and then uh, Internet ads. You've seen it everywhere. Mm hmm. Because mm. I think just the state of the state of lockdown had everybody feeling like okay, especially people who lived alone, like oh you know, you you, you feel lonely, so they they advertised it a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, and they and they actually like it got paid because people started like you know even people who didn't ever use the the dating app went on the dating mm -hmm. app mm -hmm. on Tinder and Bumble, uh, very uh, you know very. Uh, what's the word for that? Con not controversial, but like conservative. Very conservative people mm -hmm. went to Hinge, you know, for like something more uh, serious and whatsoever. But, you know, yeah, I think we went into another different stage of dating when hookup culture itself is like fading away That's at this point. <laughs> you know yeah it's been big for years and we talked about like uh about it way before in season one that hookup culture is huge and it just gr it kept growing and growing so do you think we're going you know now backwards a little bit though we're using dating apps but due to pandemic we are not that you know free and available to go on a date right away and we spend more time online do you think that we getting a little bit backwards in like to core values of dating and relationship itself, leaving like hookup culture behind and not as popular as it was? Um, yes and no. Yes, because, you know, some places are on lockdown. You can't like, you know, especially if you live away from your partner, your, your girlfriend or boyfriend, you can't go see them. You know, you can't take them on dates. You can't do stuff. Like no, we're that. talking about single so, yeah, life right now. We're talking about single life. Don't go to, uh, your, well, to your relationship just yet. We're going to talk about a relationship in a bit. The Ghost of Mind Podcast.